We made A Day in My Life in 2001. I was a senior in high school. It was for a film criticism class and it was a collaborative project between myself and a Danish exchange student who was a really good friend of mine. Um, he somehow uh, had come up with this idea of doing a project about a guy who has like when you open the trunk of his car you can climb inside and it's like this you know this world inside of this trunk of his car which is pretty bizarre but when we sat down and started really writing things out and and kind of figuring out the logistics of how it would work and then sort of envisioning what it would actually look like it, uh, it we, were, we got pretty excited about it and it was really fun to be able to do that Lassa didn't have a driver's license, so we actually used that white motorcycle helmet to make it so that you couldn't tell the difference between he and I. So when you see the cut between Lassa getting in the car and then the car driving away, that was actually me driving the car because we didn't want to break any laws by having him drive and he didn't know how to drive a stick shift. Some challenges that arose from this film is obviously we had no crew. We didn't have anybody else to help us, so it was just Lassa and I, and we decided that we could actually use that to our advantage. That's one of the strengths of this film, is that we were able to make it look like there were three characters in this film when there were actually only two of us shooting, and one of us always had to be shooting. So if you look closely at the film, you'll see that there, Lassa and I are never in the same frame at the same time. There's not really anything in this project that people will connect with emotionally. I mean, what you see on the screen is exactly what you get. Most films you watch and you see, you know, you ask yourself throughout what's going to happen, you're waiting for this sort of climactic moment. We just sort of wanted to leave the audience, or at least cause the audience to ask themselves the question, what is happening? You know, having a bathroom in your trunk, that's not a relatable experience. And so we're able to sort of get a window into this life of this person who is experiencing something that is completely unrelatable to what we've ever experienced in our lives. The equipment that was available to us at the time really is nothing like we see today. High definition video camera is in your pocket. We didn't have anything like that. We didn't even, I mean, high definition cameras were used at sporting events and in Hollywood, that was it. And so, um, you know, we were shooting 35 millimeter film still, that's how we did photography. And so, I mean, they're really the, the the flooding of the market with digital technology really hadn't happened yet and so um, we used a, you know, my dad bought this little video camera because that was part of the project and um, it was, it took the little mini DV tape so that was back in the day when you actually had a digital video camera that is, that's all it was used for was shooting digital video. Since we created this film, it's been pretty fascinating to see how technology has developed, especially just with YouTube. It's, I mean, it, literally billions of people are available to see your work. We didn't have that when we created this. Entre tres cosas.